Wow. That's a cool one. Oh, look at that one over there. Right, there's one. Wow, look at it. It's so beautiful. Look at it just sitting there, staring. Oh, it's so cute. Shh. Don't say anything. You might spook it back into its hole. Hi, welcome. Yes, come on in. It's great to have you here. It's great to see you again. Thank you for coming to the channel and checking out the video. Bow! If that got you, then you're not ready. You're not prepared and you're not going to survive this content. Okay, because we're here to play some scary games. We're also here to make our voices crack. God damn it. Warning. There is nothing scary ahead. No sudden noises. No flashing images. No one will follow you. Welcome to Dia. No! Oh, Dia, a population of zero people. Well, we're all going to pop into it and we're all going to pop off, okay? Every single one of you out there, I need your help. I need your energy to help me get through this and fill the population of Dia. Dia Gwitch. That's how you say hello in Irish. Dia is God. It means God be with you. Dia Gwitch, I heard you. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you pick up what I'm putting down? Do you want to play the game? I sure do. Oh, straight in. Nicely does it. Now there's a population of Uno. That's a card game. That doesn't actually mean anything though. Okay, I can't sprint. Can't do much else. Oh no, there's a dead person. Wait, am I the population one or are you the population one? Because I could be dead. You're... You're just alive. You're just planking. Maybe he's just sleeping. It's very hard being a man made out of marble. Ooh. Did you write this letter for me? Did you write this letter and then you were so tired of writing it you walked over there and fell over and fell asleep? Thank you for your contribution to this city. I thought I was just going to say thank you for playing my game. I thought it was going to end right there. Oh, now there's a population of two. Oh God, sir! <laughs> Why do you keep falling over? You got narcolepsy? This town is just judging how many people are awake, not how many people are alive. He's fine. He's just sleeping. Okay. If any kids are watching this, then you're gonna have to learn about death sooner or later. Okay. The monster didn't find me inside the tower. Okay, well that's useless. The monster probably didn't find you in lots of places. The monster didn't find me when I went out to buy S Starbucks earlier. I didn't go out to buy Starbucks earlier, that's a lie. I was just saying that to make it seem like I'm a fancier person than I actually am. I found a walkie, but it's not doing a talkie. Okay. Well, if the monster didn't find you inside the tower, then I should just go to the tower. Because the monster could find me probably anywhere else in the middle of all of this. What are you doing hanging out up there? That's not a place for a person to be. That's where lights go, idiot. Okay, at least he heard me and he got down off where he was supposed to be. Thank you, Mr. Marble Man. You still didn't fix your leg, though. Okay, okay, okay. Enough with the jokes. Oh, Lord. Okay, that actually got me, you freaking wiggle worm. All right, you freaking fecker. Yeah. I didn't want to bust out the bad language. Don't get close to the body. Don't touch it. It's not what you think. It's... It's a dead man. What am I saying? But if... If anyone is out there... Well, you said it's not what I think it is. First of all, too late, I already got close to the body and he wiggled all over me and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die soon. Secondly, you told me... That it's not what I think it is, and I thought it was a dead person. Oh, but then you told me it was a dead man. I don't get it. Can I just go in the trash where I belong? Hello? Can you open the gate? You're gonna have to speak up, buddy. They can't hear you. I can't do anything. Am I- am I stuck? Oh! What are you doing there? Thank God. It said there's zero people in the city before I entered. Are you inside the city? <gasps> that was a population of two. Me and my lover girl. 
It takes me forever to finish. Oh, I have to click my sentences. Oh. The body's not after me, though. The body is before me. Okay. I'm in the center of the city. Get over here. It's uh, not safe outside. Jesus, dude, what were you thinking coming to this place? I don't know! I took a wrong turn somewhere and I was trying to figure out where the nearest subway was so I could just get a delicious sandwich. You know, maybe get a little diarrhea after eating it. Who knows? That's what happens when you hit almost 30, is that old food just makes your stomach hurt. But I'm hungry! I've been driving for 16 days! Oh, now there's a population of one again! You just lie down there and think about what you didn't do. It's doing a terrible job. Okay, the voice of Dia will guide me. Did the people who made this know that Dia actually means God? Dia Guisha Korja, Korsatu. Where is he gonna pop out of next? Choose your answer, door number one, door number two, or secret door number three all around me. Maybe above me, maybe behind me, maybe in front of me. Okay, never mind. He died off screen this time. Ah, there he is. <laughs> hey, buddy! Why, though, is it playing dead? And why is it impersonating a human? It's a crap magic trick. Oh, the music changed and now he's behind me. That's not that scary, though. There's a lot of things behind me. This chair, the wall, my past. Those embarrassing things that those girls did to me when I was younger. Hey, I see you. Do you <laughs> see the tower? I'm in here. Come quick. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. No, oh, jeepers. Okay. I mean, yeah, I see it now. Was I supposed to be seeing it like that all the time? It might. It might not hide itself anymore at night. Please be fast. I don't want to be trapped here alone. I think you're a bad person. Because it says population one. If you were actually here, it would say population two. Are we gonna have to repopulate the city? But you know what? I'm kinda down with that. Come out, come out wherever you are. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm making it all the way. That's a bad sign. This freaking Mordor ass tower. Uh oh. It's locked. Uh oh. You're here? Great. I'll unlock the door. Thank you. Let me in! Let me in! Oh, Lord. Boy, it says population one. Uh! We came here. Oh! Oh! What is that? What is that? Oh! Thank you for your contribution to this city. Oh, you sneaky, snaky, crabby, triple headed freak. They know my name! My real name's Sean, actually! Okay, whatever. How come you never write to me normally? Why is it always a freaky writing? That was actually kind of cool. I like the... I mean, it was super simplistic and the visuals and everything or whatever. But I like that idea of a monster being in the environment somewhere with you and the population thing changing. I would love a game like that where the monster's actually roaming around. So that when you're walking along, you check up on a scoreboard or something, it's like, Oh, I know that I'm alone now. And then as you're walking along, then it suddenly changes, it's like, Uh-oh, now I have to actually hide and figure out what the hell is going on. 
Um, and then you can play with people's expectations by having it be like population one and then you're like, oh, I'm okay then. And then the monster comes out anyway. That's like a perfect jump scare because it sets up an expectation and then lands upon you. That would be great. I wonder if they actually did know that Dia meant God or if they were just thinking about some weird word that could have... You're here! I thought I was lost. I thought I was all alone. I was in that darkness for 14 years. Oh, water. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Oh. But there is no time to spare, okay? There are two lines to solve. There's my line and your line. We are tethered together and we have to solve this once and for all. Welcome, everybody, to two lines. A spooky, scary game written in blood. That means you know that it's serious. Two tender lines. Carefully drawn. Two for life. Two for death. Okay. Who drew the lines, though? I'm gonna draw a line in the sand right now for this game. Okay. So far, so good. Wow, look at that wall! If you get close enough, you can see the code in the matrix! Alright, <laughs> I had a bad time in here. I must have so many diseases. Well, I probably have so much tetanus in me right now. Okay, there is absolutely no sound. Or maybe I've gone deaf. No, I can hear myself talk. Hello? It's me, Jacksepticeye. The guy who doesn't do too well with silence. It reminds me of my relationship with my dad. Here we go. Thank you! The gamer gods are listening to me. Or was it you? Did you pray for me? Thank you. Now I can actually hear things. And now you can hear things. Now we have a full formed video. Alright, so where am I? I'm on the corner of Matheson and Mimwich? Mimwich Street. Does anybody know where that is? Hey, Finney Street. Oh, oh, what is that? Okay, there's a freaky weirdo in here with me. Help! Please don't be a dead end. Please don't be a dead end. I need to escape. I need to get out of here. I need to eat donuts once more. This can't be the way I die. The last meal I would have had is a pack of almonds. That's not the last meal that you want. You want to go out having eaten like pizza or something. Something that's really just going to destroy your body. Because if you're going to die, then what's the point anyway? Oh, he's right below me. Did he start walking faster? Okay, I am out. I am gone like the wind. I'm gone like an easy breezy fart. Okay, where am I now? Bachman Street. It's pronounced Batman, actually. Idiots. Can I come in? Let me in! Why is everybody just standing around and watching this happen? What is this? The feckin' purge? Uh, disclaimer, I've never ever seen a purge movie. Ugh, more steps. God, maybe the enemy was... <laughs> lack of endurance and stamina. Maybe the enemy was being out of shape and they... That's just my personal trainer dressed up to be scary. He's like, you gotta work those glutes! Or I'll stab ya! Oh, I hear him. Oh god, am I just back where I was? Oh god! This is way too close! Okay, so not that way! No, oh, no! Oh no! Oh, he's right there! Oh, he looks like a bird! I hate birds! Okay, I'm going this way, as far away as possible. Don't loop me back around again, please. Hi. Oh, he's so freaky weird. Is this where I just was? No. This is so confusing. As long as he stays back there and I can stay over here, I'll be happy. But where is over here? I have no idea. You see, guys, Let's Plays are just a series of answering your own questions. Because you're all out there watching right now, watching me suffer. Hey, look, I'm playing the game without even having to look at it. You're all watching me suffer. 
But at the same time, you're probably screaming solutions at the TV. I can't hear them. Scream louder. Okay, I think I'm making progress because I haven't looped back on myself yet. Ah, this looks good. Go up. Go up and out. Maybe I'll just jump off the building to solve all the problems. And land on top of them! Two birds, one stone. Two lines! But you said two for life and two for death. I'm one line for life and you're one line for death. Where's the other two? Yes. Heaven, here I come! My god. This really is a stairway to heaven. The eagles were right! Oh my god, so many steps. This is Fitbit the game. Uh oh, uh oh, more signs. But now there's two directions to go. The good news is, is that I'm probably 400 miles away from the guy that I was just chasing me. Oh man, oh man. Oh Jesus. Oh wait, this is the world, but now just upside down. Jack one out. Now I'm just heading all the way back up again. This is exactly where I was. This is where I got in! Oh no! Can I just get out? This is way more than two lines! Oh! I'm so lost! Ooh, this looks promising! Ooh, yeah! No, I think I literally just came this way already. This seems promising. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, suck on those! I did it! I used my human brain! Wish I'd been using that the whole time. Oh, it's super quiet again, though. Oh, God! This is why you never have Taco Bell before you go to bed. You're just gonna end up in a mess. <gasps> Hi! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Jesus! Did you... Did you put me back at the start of the game? What happened and why? So I think what the game was trying to tell me and what the moral of the story is that when you wake up in the middle of the night in your tetanus filled room and you're really hungry, don't go outside and go to the store. Because there's always some freak out there with a crow outfit and a sickle who's ready to just really tear you apart. Ready to just tear town up on your face. And if, if that happens, if you go out, you're going to end up coming home and you're going to regret it and then you're going to see yourself upside down in a bloody bathtub. That's all it's all about. I think. This is one line. And this is the other. Interconnected. Like two peas in a pod, like two strings at the end of a childhood cup phone. They come together, closer and closer, until suddenly, BAM! God, where is it? Where is it? I need to look the part for this one. This is a special one. Aha! I found it. Ah, yes. Ready to go. You are a detective of the paranormal investigating a recent murder at an infamous location. Due to the location's haunted nature, a special magnifying glass has been prepared for you. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Good luck, detective. I don't need luck. I've got a magnifying glass. All right. Let's do it, detectives. Let's get this bread. This game is called Spook Detective, and it looks absolutely adorable. The visuals are delightful. I like it a lot. This magnifying glass ain't doing- Oh! I was gonna say it ain't doing anything because it's not magnifying anything. It's not a magnifying glass. It's a lucky glass. I can't believe there's been another murder at this house. I hope you find the killer. Me too. Um. Ah. Oh no! <laughs> Are they really doing the OK symbol? Even in death? Got him. Oh, even the pictures are spooky! This is cool! Hi. You might need to find a key for some of the rooms here. Okay. 
I reckon I saw that backpack fella take that key upstairs a little earlier. Who is he and what did he do? Tell me more! <laughs> I need to know more about him! <laughs> Things are changing all the time in this place. Even the paintings won't stay on the walls. <gasps> the door is locked. Well, feck it anyway, guys! Right. Ah! <laughs> Don't let my pinwheel hat fool you. I'll find the murderer myself right after I get off the couch. Okay, you guys are no help to me. <gasps> oh, squeak! Hi, fellas. Back in my day, we ghosted didn't interfere with the alive folk. Didn't you get bored? Where's the fun in that? What's up, Blucky? G'day, chap. I suppose I saw one suspicious individual going in the room downstairs in the right. Oh, wait. That one? Yeah, that's the room that's locked, though. I need help. I think that guy went into the bathroom around the corner with the key. Ooh, I'm helping on a case. This is exciting. What's up, Jim? Like, dude, if you want the key for that door, you're gonna have to find that dude with the backpack. It was on the table there, but he took it. The little thief. Okay, play me a song, Jimbo. I'll tell you, something's not right about the paintings in this place. They just keep going crooked again. Can I fix this one? Ah, isn't the view just beautiful? It sure is there, buddy. Don't bother trying. Ah, oh, I love that that's on the wall as well. The door is locked. Of course you're floating, dummy. You're a ghost. Oh, you. Wee! I'm floating! Okay, I don't have any solutions to anything in this. Correct the crooked. Okay. How many? I did all the paintings. Okay, I don't know the code. That is the most stock ass looking code thing that I've ever seen. Ah. <gasps> oh, squeak! That's fun. I like this game. This is cute and cozy. Hi. Can I have the thing? Uh, occupy. Just take the key and get out. Thank you. What are you doing, ghost pooping? In the bath? What's behind spooky door number squeak? I saw the footsteps going out the window. Murderer! I've just been here napping. Maybe he snuck out the window, though. Okay. Oh, I have to go back outside. This is awesome! This is a delightful game. Where'd he go? I see ya. Are these your footsteps? I'm not the murderer. I've been framed. I don't even have feet. I think I saw a key code in one of the bookshelves. That might help you. Haha! <laughs> Jacuse! I will solve the mystery, for I am Jack Spookly. Expert ghost detective. Okay, bookshelf. Ah, one, two, seven, zero. I got it. We're about to find the accursed. And the killer is? I knew it! Ghostman Knifely! Ah, and I had the perfect hiding spot! You won't take me alive. Did I just get murdered? Oh, I'm the worst detective. Haha, -ha, but that's all right, for we have figured out the clue to it all. The secret behind the murderer was... <gasps> you! You were the murderers all along. You have killed the platform. You have killed the channel. You have killed everything. It's all over, folks. B Whoa! I, I don't know. But be extra vigilant. For there are always secrets and clues lying around. <laughs>